you got to see this. It's going to touch your heart. People are getting prayed for. People are getting healed. But all of a sudden, one boy is asked, what do you want? And he said, I want a new father, a new dad. The presence of God just fills the place. Check it out. Well, John, you know our heart is towards you know, the, the fatherless and, and important of having a father there. You know, for 10 years, we walked out the Malachi mandate with the Next Step Outback Fathers and Sons yeah. camping trips. And, you know, the, you know, our audience, if you haven't yet, you can actually go to, you know, VFN, vinefellowshipnetwork.org and click on Our Story. And you can see for 10 years, we walked out the Malachi mandate where we took fathers and sons and fatherless sons and mentors in the wilderness to be able to meet Father God yeah. and turn hearts. You know, Malachi 4, 5, and 6 says, Before the great and dreadful day of the Lord comes, that He will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers, or else I'll smite the earth with a curse. Mm. And all of a sudden, we're in this room now here, and this is actually a Benny Head's son-in-law. His name is Michael uh, Kalianus, I believe it is. And he's ministering there at David Thomas's, Apostle of David Thomas's, a friend of mine's church, I believe in Ohio. And uh, suddenly, just suddenly, I guess people are saying, I need prayer for this, I need prayer for that. And prayer they're, requested they're, they're getting prayed for, you know, getting hands laid on them. But all of a sudden, this boy, this young boy, John, walks up, and to everybody's surprise, mm. he says, what do you need? What do you, want? what do you want? And he says, I want a new father. Mm. And the mm. entire place shifted, because that's the heart of God. As a matter of fact, let's go. This is, we're going to see him begin to walk up and watch how the entire room shifts and your heart will melt just like our hearts melt. And it's time for us to turn our hearts back, the Father's heart back, hmm. to our families and to the church. As a matter of fact, take a look. Do you know her? Your mom. What do you think of this? What do you feel? A little nervous. A little nervous? Do you feel the Lord here? What does he feel like? Um, I don't really know how to say it. Is it good? Yeah. Come here. What do you want from the Lord? Um, a new dad. Did you hear that, Pastor? Did you hear what he said? He said, I want a new dad. He said, I want a new dad. I said, what do you want from the Lord? He said, a dad. Stretch your hands towards this little boy. What's your name? What is it? Say it again. Father, this little boy wants a dad. Bishop and I bless him. With the blessing of the Father, Jesus, you know the feeling of being an illegitimate son. Father's blessing over this little boy, Canaan. Fill every void. Fill every bit of brokenness. Anoint him. 
Raise him up and bring him a dad. You know, I, I grew up seeing things that I said I would, I would never do because I didn't want reproach from people. And then you learn to lose yourself if you want more of the Lord. And so I'm just going to obey God now. Stand, stand up straight, come on. I knew, Pastor, I don't get these things at all. But I see things before meetings and they make no sense. And I didn't know if I should wear a jacket tonight. Because I saw myself without a jacket on the platform before the meeting. But I wanted to wear a jacket really to be respectful to the house. But I knew it would come off at some point. And the Lord just told me to, to put my jacket on your back, Kenan. Look at me, just look at me. Because the Lord now is going to cover you with Himself. And every bit of brokenness, you feeling like you weren't good enough for a dad, is going to leave now. You're going to walk with your shoulders back and your eyes on Jesus. Okay? Everyone stretch your hands. I never thought I'd do this and never wanted to. But I'm going to obey the Lord. We don't belong to ourselves, do we? Lord, this is a prophetic. Just lift your hands, buddy. You're going to get a lot more than you prayed for. Grandma. Good night for you. Is there somebody else? Where is he? Come on, what's his name? Kareem. I've never done this. Just stay right there, sir. Thank you so much. Stretch your hands towards Kinnan. Father, when I was a boy, I remember the glory of God like it was yesterday, Lord. It feels the same now. Lord, you told me I would go to nations when I didn't believe in myself. And you told me, Lord, that I would preach your gospel when I was afraid to talk to people. I was afraid to speak, Lord, to people. And you've done great things because you're merciful. Send Kinnan, Lord, to the nation. Before he turns 20, Send him to the nation. Clothe him in a healing anointing. Teach him how to touch you and keep you. Teach him how to hide your word in his heart. And teach him how to treasure you. Use his life to shake the world. Let him feel the weight of your calling on his back his whole life. As a constant reminder that he carries your cross. In Jesus' name, Kanan, I release the anointing of the Spirit on you, young man. Just lift your hands. Say, Lord, touch me. Say, I receive it. Fill him with your Spirit. We bless you in the name of Jesus.
Amen. Amen. Big night, huh? You didn't think that was going to happen? Wow. Now look at me. You're going to have good days and bad days. And the, the world, you, you're going to remember what I'm saying right now. The world's going to try to pull you away. <laughs> you remember what the Lord said to you tonight. You don't belong to yourself anymore. You're His, and He'll take care of you. When you drift, you come back. If you drift five times, come back five times. Okay? You keep this jacket. You're going to keep that. And you remember this jacket. Okay? And, and you're going to remember that God has called you. belong to God now. Amen. Let's give the Lord praise. Shifted the entire meeting because people were being healed rapidly. Things were shifting, this one and that one. And this young fatherless boy comes up and says, and he says, what do you want? He says, I want to be, I want, I want a new father. Hmm. I want to tell you right now, if you're a father and you're being tempted to leave your family, it's a lie from the enemy. Stay around for your kids' sakes. You might be married to somebody that's really not nice, but your kids count. I mean, think about this. Think about this. If you couldn't get along with their mother and you said you're going to leave, you're going to leave them with a the lady that you said you couldn't get along with? I mean, think about that. You need to, you need, if that's true, you need to stay and fight for your kids and stand up for them. You don't need to leave. Statistics say when you, when you leave that home, your wife or soon-to-be ex-wife and your children are going to go right into poverty. Uh, all these type of imprisonment rates and, and health rates and teen pregnancy, all these things. Listen, it's not about you. It's not about you. Ma'am, it's not about you either. It's about God. If you haven't yet read the book by Francis Chan, Married Together Forever, Together Forever, mm -hmm. me and you, me and you together forever, it will shift your paradigm about what marriage really is That's because right. we're not married in heaven. But we're walking out a relationship here on earth. And that boy, I mean, obviously he had a father, mm -hmm. but the father is gone. And, and God, I'm mean, a shifted heaven. I'm mean, going to notice that everybody just shifted, broke every heart in the place. You know, and, and Apostle uh, David Thomas, he has such a father's heart in, in his ministry. He began just to weep instantly when he understood that. Wow. You know, we walked that out for 10 years with the Next Step Outbacks. It's know? amazing as I'm watching that. It just brought so many memories of the glory of God and yes. the presence of the Lord yes. um, during those times and, and, and the 10 of meetings when we gathered and yeah. how many sons would cry out, mm. you know, wanting the Father's blessing and how many grown men wanted right. to be affirm affirmed by other men and hear that. You know, the time where we were working with men and I had a small men's group, mm -hmm. I remember a very successful um, older gentleman uh, in his 70s. Mm -hmm. And I looked up to my esteemed him as one of my elders. And I remember him sharing how much he wanted his father's blessing. This yes. man drove all the way to Arkansas to kneel before his 90 some odd year old father yeah. who didn't even know the Lord. And he put his father's hand on his head and said, just bless mm -hmm. me. He says, I don't know how. He says, just say something good about me. Right. Just yeah. say something good about me. Right. And it wound up changing his life. And the reason why most most fathers, I mean, we just heard recently from Emerson. Uh, Egridge. 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 He's doctor about um, family and all. But about how the men have been so under attack in the, yeah. in the in your boys and fathers and such a, we knew this, but they're backing it right now with statistics that we got to begin to bring God's narrative out about men again. And if you're, if you're feeling that you're too inadequate, that you're too, you failed too much to be able to bless your son, understand your son loves you. You're his father. And you just ask God just to, to speak, just lay hands on him and just speak good things about him. Talk about his good stuff. It's easy to find bad stuff. Hunt for the gold and the treasure in his life and begin to speak those things out over him. And, and the, remember the joy that you had when you first saw him. Begin to speak that over him again, because if not, this is how God sees that. 
But let me tell you something right now. If you're 50 years old, 60 years old, or 40 years old, or 5 years old, and you don't have a father, God can be a father to the fatherless. But there's also fathers that God has put in the church who can father you. There's men in different churches that has a father's heart, and we want to be there for you. You saw those men gather That's around right. that young boy. And I know at Vine Fellowship Network, you know, we actually do have the father's heart there. And there's nothing like the church family coming around and being that father figure Absolutely. You know, for young men. Thank you for watching VFN TV. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com.